Yeah, viewers, uh, uh, we're told that inside this place there is a shrine that is known as Ososu, where the water that uh, Ovorame actually asked for, the water that he was supposed to drink, and when he drinks that water, the the breaches will not be able to move him. He will be so uh, resistant that they cannot move him. But information actually got to the white man that if he's allowed to take that water, he, it, it will be difficult. They can't pick, take, take him away. And by so doing, the, the British have to make sure they stop them from giving him the water. This is where you have the Osu. It's inside this place. And, uh, uh, why about Ovora Menok Baisi for being taken to Calabar at this very spot? He stopped here first while he was processing on his way to, to Calabar. At the very spot, this is where he first stopped and requested for water. It was at this spot that the white men, the commander in chief, shouted, What? They shouldn't, give him water. they shouldn't give him water. Like we said, the water he actually requested to is at the shrine, Oba shrine, close to the Ogojon, down this road. Yes. So when he stopped over here, he now requested Ugbine never a dollar. They should give him water. Then the white man shouted. So why he requested for that? People were like running a task and quickly see what they can do to bring water to the Oba. But seeing the scenario, the white men were not comfortable with such moves by the indigenous of this community. So he, he responded, what? So Ugbine asked, some of has some shots, some of their guard has some shots somewhere that Ugbine now said that. Uh, what is our own now? That was where the sun oh, came in. Ebu no kwaza o mugbine, de nugbine siwa. Ebu no kwaza o mugbine, Ebu no kwaza o mugbine, de nugbine siwa na. Ebu no kwaza o mugbine, de nugbine siwa na. De nugbine siwa na. De nugbine siwa na. So that was the song. Actually at this point, was after here, they proceeded to that very spot okay, where, where he rested. rested. Okay. Before it was after they was taken down to Calabar. Wow, wow, viewers, <laughs> we assure you this that we are going to unravel a lot of information and a lot of uh, beautiful sites, historical sites in Nugbine. As you can see, it's still not over. We are still going to another place. Okay, let's go there. Yeah, viewers, uh, still at Ugbine community. Now we are at uh, the last stop over, the last place Ovorame stopped uh, before he began the journey to Calabar. As you can see, about Ovorame's last stop over at Ugbine before his journey to Calabar. As you can see, this is uh, the place he rested. He stayed here for some time. You can come in. Let's see, we have a statue here that uh, represents, to, to at least to know, this is about Vorame, you know, and his uh, queen, the queen, the uh, Omada, and uh, the head to the Oba, that actually, they, were, they actually followed him to Calabar. And uh, today, here is a monument that uh, attracts a lot of uh, tourists to visit this uh, location. You know, last time we post this picture in our page, asking people to guess where it was. And a lot of people were saying so many, many things, though the people that actually got the right location were rewarded. We gave them a lot of uh, presents. And uh, right here, we are unveiling this place to everybody in the world, that this is the last place of where I mean, actually rested. If he was allowed to drink that water, definitely, he won't, they wouldn't have been able to move him anymore. And information got to the white man. This is the last place of Rami actually rested. And uh, we just got to know that he asked for water. And information actually got to the white man that if he's allowed to drink the water. What is your take about that? Yeah, actually, uh, it's a pleasure to visit this monumental site. Okay. And uh, I would like to say 
the issue of betrayal has been at the front front of the Benin Kingdom from the onset. If he had allowed to drink this water, today he would still be a king that would be well honored more than the way it was, which would have laid down a trademark because the white couldn't have pulled him out from this very place to Calabar. But right now, as it all seems to be, it is also good because we all know the story and we hope that we are still going to pass this story to the younger generation. From generations to generation, which signifies a do, Benin city in the front map of the world. And Ovorame lives on to be one of the greatest kings from this kingdom. Yeah. How about talk, uh, You see, I, I want to, I want to, I, I know what you meant by betrayal have been the four front, but I beg, I want to correct that now because, um, yeah, in any clan, in any region, you must have a betrayer. There must be in there. Even the, the disciples of the of Jesus Christ, there was a betrayer. So the Bini, uh, the Bini is a, a loving people. And then there's, there's one thing I want to use this medium to actually correct. When they tell you in Michael Ogbanedo, they didn't finish it. It was abbreviated because people now took it to be, to, oh, they said with Michael Ogbanedo, uh, that is what the Bini's are not united. Is a, as, a, as if it was a, it was a disadvantage uh, statement. No, they now end up abbreviating it. The fool is Umayko Bane Doya Wemidan. Umayko Bane Doya Wemidan. So my viewers, take note of that. You can drop your comments at the comment section about your view, about these locations we are seeing, uh, showing you. And at the same time, we stand to be corrected. You know, and uh, let us know your views about it. So let's go further. We still have some other monuments to take you to. Visit Tedo TV.